Welcome to this 1CNC presentation. This is Patrick from 1CNC West and in this video we're going to be creating 2D geometry from a blueprint. Now please note that I've already created the blueprint on a layer called print. I also made a brand new layer called project and this is the layer we're going to create our geometry on. Now throughout this project I'm going to be toggling the print layer on and off just to keep track of our progress. Now to toggle a layer within 1C and C it's very simple. You just take your cursor and left click on the little eye icon next to the layer name. So if I left click that it hides the layer. If I left click again it turns the layer back on. Notice there's no eye next to the project layer and that's because there's no geometry on that layer yet. Alright, if we take a close look at our blueprint we can see that these four circles all have hard coordinates. So what I suggest we do is create these four circles first create the lines next and then finish our project by creating the 2 inch radius fillet. Let's get started. I'm going to hide our print layer by left clicking on the eye there. I'm going to head up to our main palette and select arc and from our arc palette I'm going to select the create arc from fixed position and given radius option. The radius is going to be 4 inches and the start angle and end angle are set to 360. This just means we're going to get a full 360 degree arc, in other words a circle. Please also note too that within one CNC all arcs are created from 3 o'clock and are created counterclockwise. So this is 0, we're going to create the arc counterclockwise 360 degrees. We're going to execute that by clicking the OK button and now we're presented with this dialog box and this really gives us several options for locating the arc we're going to create. I'm going to use the XY coordinate, going to type in 0 for the X value, going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. You can use tab or shift tab to move backwards and forwards throughout the different fields within your dialog box. For the Y value we'll type in 0 and we'll execute that. Now once the circle is created you can shut this dialog box down by clicking the cancel button, you can click the close button, or you can simply hit the escape key on your keyboard. Now let's make this 3 inch radius arc. So we'll go back up to our arc palette and select arc. The radius is going to be 3. We'll click OK. This time though let's use arc center. Note too that 1CNC is smart enough to know that I only have one circle here and it's actually snapping to the closest circle on our screen so the location is already perfect. I just have to left click and then right click to terminate the command. The next circle is going to be placed over here at X13, Y1. We're going to use the same tool. We'll go back up here to arc, change the radius to 2, execute that, select coordinate, this is going to be 13. I'm going to hit the tab key, type in 1, execute that. Now I'll hit the escape key to shut this dialog box down. All right, let's make the little hole that's inside this circle. That's going to have a radius of a half inch, so we'll use the same tool. Now you could type in 0.5. You've seen me do that so far. But you can also type in fractions. Now really that's a formula, right? 1 divided by 2, but for all intents and purposes that looks like a fraction. Now you can get the results of the uh, fraction or formula just by pressing the equal sign on your keyboard and 1CNC instantly takes the result of that formula and pushes it in there. We're going to go ahead and click OK and select Arc Center. We'll come over and just left click and then right click to terminate the command. Now let's create this line that's tangent to the circle uh, through an angle of 35 degrees. This is very simple within 1CNC. We're going to click Home go back and select our line tool and from the line palette we're going to select angle. Now note that as soon as we select this 1CNC gives us a prompt down here. This is true for all commands. This is a great place to look and it's a great way to learn 1CNC. But note that for the angle command we have three options here. We can select a line, an arc, or a point. If we select an arc 1CNC knows we want a tangent situation so I'm going to left click the angle is already set to 35 degrees and also note too that you can specify a length of the line. Now I have 10 inches. This length isn't too important right now because we're going to trim it later on with that fillet. Let's go ahead and execute that and there's the line. It's tangent to that circle and it passes through 35 degrees. And I'm still using the same coordinate system that 1CNC uses to create circles. In other words, zeros at 3 o'clock, 90 degrees, 180, 270 and so on. So that looks great. Now let's make the horizontal and vertical line. These are very simple also within 1CNC. And the best tool to use is the sketch tool. The sketch tool will allow you to quickly sketch horizontal, vertical, and lines through an angle. So to make a horizontal line, I'm just going to take my cursor, left click, and left click. And you can see I did that really sloppy. But 1CNC takes care of that. 
it knows based upon the line that I do that I probably want a horizontal line and maybe I want an angled line, but it gives me those options. Also note too that this field is designated as Y because one CNC figures that one of my options might be horizontal. The Y value is going to be 8, and so now I'll click horizontal. So just as fast as I click that, one CNC creates the horizontal line, and it's placed at Y 8 inches. Now let's make this vertical line over here at X15. To do that, just left click, left click. I don't have to be too careful. I do want to come up here and type in 15, and then click the vertical option. And there's the vertical line. All right, let's create this line now. This next line starts at X2, Y8, and it terminates tangent to this arc. Now to do that, I'm just going to take my cursor and select the universal command. Now note that I'm still with in my last sketch tool, correct? I could hit the right mouse button to terminate the command, but I want to point out that another way to terminate a command is simply just select another command. So I'm going to head over here and select the universal tool, and now I can start creating our line. This line is going to start at X2, Y8, so I want to use the coordinate option. So I'm going to type in 2, I'm going to hit the tab key, type in 8, we're going to execute that. Now I want this line to terminate tangent to this circle, so I'm going to select the tangent option, and now I'm going to take my cursor, get close to the arc, and left click. And sure enough, we have a line that starts at X2, Y8, and terminates tangent to that circle. Alright, let's create the fillet now. Now remember that arcs and circles are created counterclockwise, so we want to remember that when we're selecting our geometry. I'm going to select the Home button, select Arc, and then select Fillet. Now, I'm going to select this arc first, and then I'm going to select the line. And I select that in that order because, um, again, I'm thinking about counterclockwise. The radius of the fillet's going to be 2 inches. I want to trim both entities that I've selected, so I've got both highlighted there. We'll click OK, and then there's the arc. All we have to do now is trim. And again, trim within one CNC is very, very simple. I'm going to click the Home button, select Trim Break, and we're going to select this Trim 2 option. With Trim 2, you simply just digitize what you want to keep. I'm going to left click and left click. I want to keep this, I want to keep that. I want to keep that portion of the arc, I want to keep that. I want to keep that portion of the arc, I want to keep that. I want to keep that, and I want to keep that. Very, very easy. I just hit the right mouse button to terminate that command. All right, let's match our geometry up with our blueprint and see how we did. I'm going to left click on the icon there. And as I turn our blueprint on and off, I can see that we did a great job. I sure appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.